So this has been my dilemma for the past two nights and about five solar cells that I've fried and they're, this, it, the cells are useless to me now. Um, so I just used them as training. Now I've looked at 80 watt uh, temperature controlled soldering iron and they're about $300. Well, I don't, I'm not plopping 300 bucks down for a, a soldering iron. And I've found that this works the best. Take your time, go slow, don't overheat. Don't keep your tip on there too long because once that silver is gone, your cell is useless. I'll clean the, clean the rosin off and I'll show you what I mean by the silver is gone. <clears throat> Okay, see, there's no silver part. This is, you want that silver to be on there. That is what is bonding your solder to the back of the silicone. Now I've even tried this uh, Radio Shack 150 watt and 230 watt soldering gun and I, this was miserable. This worked terrible. So it's not about the heat. I'm going to tab a single solar panel going over the tabs with uh, acetone. That's all the little dabs of solder that you need on there. And you just barely have to touch the silver. You'll see that the silver is still intact. Use this little bamboo skewer broken in half to help press down the little tabbing cell or the tabbing wire. There you go. It's almost instantaneous when you see it. It's just like start the once the solder starts melting, that's when you let up. mechanically and electrically sound and very strong bond and the silver is still intact and I'm running my temperature control just a little bit above three <laughs> 